Each one of these fish tanks are going to be supplying 10 feet of growing area, which we're going to be using two 5 feet long PVC, 4 inch wide, yeah, 4 inch diameter. 4 inch diameter PVC pipes with uh, connectors at the end. We'll show you how we get those. If you want to save some money, buy the PVC pipes in 10 foot lengths and cut them at home. Except the links we had were too big to fit in the car, so we chose to go with the two five-foot pieces that were already cut. But you'll save money by going the uh, buying more and doing some of the cutting yourself. Yeah, the ten-foot pieces were eleven dollars. The five-foot pieces were nine dollars. So. Yeah, so <laughs> we paid more, so keep that in mind. Yeah. But save some money yourself. Okay, we're going to be doubling this system. They're each going to be on top of. What, like 44 gallon tanks? Yeah. yeah. Each of these tanks are 44 gallons. And we're going to have double that. And as you can see, we're going to be feeding water down by this end, or into this end, and using gravity to take that, feed the plants, dump the water back into this end. And we're going to make the uh, same kind of system for the uh, other tank. So we'll be doubling this and having about 20 feet of actual plant growing space even though they won't be um, right together but gives you an idea of what you can do here and why you want this kind of draining out and using the vet, the uh, gravity is because that's going to create aeration for your fish in your pool now we're going to see if our water is traveling through not leaking and coming down here, okay. There's no leak. Ah, there we go. Looks like the water's coming out. That's what you want to get when you test. We're just using gravity. And as you can see down here, there are no leaks. No leaks. That's All good. Right. Okay, where we're going to be putting our water in, we've got a cap right now, and we're going to drill a hole and throw a hose through there that pumps water to these plants. But, uh, this system requires a cat, and right there it is. So that'll help us keep down, keep reduce like algae into the uh, into the pipes. It's not getting any light on that end. So that's that. Okay, we figured out we want a distance of about seven inches per plant on this system. You might want to space yourselves a little differently depending upon what you're planting. So on each side, that's going to, for each system, that's going to give us 14 plants total of whatever we're growing. And we're getting ready to drill the holes. To drill a hole through the PVC or through wood or metal or whatever. Put moving that thing. Oh, they have these, what is it called? Let's show them what we got. Bi metal. I don't know exactly what it's called. But it drills holes through wood and metal. Yeah. So, you just add that. It comes with a little bit. Fit into here. If I can get it. Be unscrewed. Okay, this piece now is not there. It goes. You buy this part. It has a piece that fits through the center. So what you have is a drill to start drilling a hole, and then these scary teeth will start drilling in after it. And you attach the little nut at the bottom. And then you got your... That you can put. And then you're ready to put it into your drill. Tighten that up. And you're ready to go. There you go, you're drilling holes. Okay, I have drilled, looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven holes in each side. We're going to have 28 plants in this unit. And one word of warning before you drill, make sure that your little drill thing here fits into uh, your hole because we bought a three inch piece. At Lowe's, thinking that our 2.5 inch thing would work and fit because, hey, it's from the same manufacturer. Not the case. We had to make an extra trip. So uh, make sure you got that checked out. But we are just about ready to plant. 
We've got our rocks down here. We put some rocks for the fish so they could munch on some of the algae that grows and uh, help them help us. We got two of these pumps. We got 20 feet of this 3 8 black tubing. You always want to get the black tubing so algae doesn't form on the inside of the tubes, which will happen with if you get the clear tubes. You have to clean them all the time. So we have our grow beds fixed upon our stand. You might want to get something to prop them up so mm -hmm. the water flows, but we're using a copy of Diablo <laughs> Cody's Candy Girl. It's on the shelves. We read it. And it'll be fine because it's going to stay dry, actually. We read it for a women's studies class. So yes. It's really not my type of book. But, uh, to, so it's propping up and give us, giving us a little bit of gravity that we'll need to drain the water. Yeah. And next we'll see what goes on. Okay, so now we got the pump. And it came with a little 3-8 converter. As well as a half-inch converter. Yeah, so you can use a half-inch pipe or 3 8 pipe. We just happened to use the 3 8 because it was right there. And we're getting ready to set these pumps in the tanks and clamp them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hold them down clamps just so. Yeah, you want to hold them down so they don't go all over the place. Mm -hmm. yeah, so this isn't a very good connection there. It's very loose, so we're going to use some of our uh, silicone tape stuff here that we used earlier on the PVC pipes. Yes, and that will help get a much better seal on there yeah. so the water pumps It'll much more healthy. Yeah, it'll stay right on there. Pump is flat on the bottom, and since we're using a liner, it does have suction cups on the bottom, but it might not stick so well, so I'm Making sure it's stuck down there, putting some of the rocks near it. But I like to clamp the electrical cord and the tubing just so the pump's not going to move in there. It'll hold it still. And then there. So everything's nice and solid. That pump's not going to move. As you can see, we've got our pumps in. We've got them going to the first hole. You can have them going through here if you want to drill a hole, but right now we figured, hey, we'll just uh, take this extra spot and clamp down the hose. <laughs> and we have water filling up our first tank. Okay, I'm going to be growing these using clay pebbles in plastic cups. As you see, I have drilled holes in the bottom of them. A tip, if you're drilling, get five at a time. like seven more times too. Well, I'm done putting the holes into the uh, the cups, but now I gotta wash them because, I don't know if you can see that, they have like little shavings of plastic and we don't want that to get into the food or anything like that, so we're gonna wash them out. Make sure you do yours too. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, the food machine is finished. It is powered by two 50-gallon tanks, or 50-ish gallon tanks? 45. Yeah, 45-gallon tanks with some goldfish down in there. As you can see, there's a water aerator, and we've got water pouring into these little PVC <clears throat> these little PVC pipes here. We were yes. having a problem with water splashing all over the place, and so I thought, hey, let me get a little uh, solution here. So I drilled some holes down in the bottom so the oxygenated water could get out. And that takes care of that problem. We just got all the levels right, so we run through a 15-minute cycle on the timer. The water doesn't go too high um, and, and flood. We had it set on a little powerful setting for the water pump, and the water was going too high. So if you do this, you're going to run through um, a few trials and seeing exactly where your water levels. You don't want them coming up out of the pipes, obviously, because you're going to awake with water all over your floor but right now we have a strawberries, strawberries over here 
I went down to North Grant Dayton Garden Center and got these because they had pretty advanced root systems. We wanted stuff to be able to get growing soon. And we've got all kinds of lettuce of a few various kinds. And all this stuff is planted. We went and bought the yes. expanded clay pebbles. So they absorb water and hold water a little bit. Not absorb a lot, but they retain water for the plant. Yeah, so it's a great medium for them to grow in. The fish are pooping. <laughs> the food machine is finish. And we are on to our next bigger project. We providing some food in a large, well, much larger setting than this. Mm -hmm. uh, at a church in Dayton, we will keep you all informed of that. Do you have any other messages you'd like to give to people? Uh, we have a few goldfish in the tanks, and apparently they're prolific poopers. Mm -hmm. So uh, we may add on to this system and add more plants to it if we find we need to. Yes, or take these goldfish well, and thin them out for another yes. tank or something like that. So, yes. yeah, um, that's it for now. If you have any questions, send them, and hopefully we can answer them or refer you to somewhere that can give you your answers. But... This was, what, about $300 total? Yeah. Um, and the stand I made myself, a few other things that we made ourselves. Some of this stuff, if you've got PVC or you can find it at construction sites, these are five-foot pieces, you can get them. Uh, we did one thing. We put uh, PVC glue, is that what it's called, uh, in the joints because the tape we had just wasn't cutting it. it was, These pipes it was, were too big. The other one, for smaller pipes, that stuff works Yeah, well. so uh, we did put that in the system to uh, to keep any leakages going. We were careful in applying it to make sure that it doesn't get to the insides of the pipes. Yes. We don't want that leaching into the water. Yeah, and it takes a little while, so we waited uh, about 40 minutes and let it set. I think mm -hmm. he said you're supposed to let it set for 15 minutes. 15 minutes and two hours if you're putting actual like, pressure in it, but we're not doing that. So Yeah. So this is a aquaponic system. It was simple. It really took us like a day to actually construct it. Mm -hmm. We had a few extra trips because of some just things we were learning along the way. We had to go get a part here and there. But uh, now that we've put a couple of these together, I think we're kind of ready to put a much larger system together. Um, and we'll keep you informed on that. Like I said, any questions, leave them. And for now, this is a completed urban food garden. We'll keep you updated on all the goodness the first time we have a salad out of this mm -hmm. or some strawberries. <laughs>